Well, let's segue a little bit into uh, your new fighter. Are you going to be head trainer in the corner for Shane Mosley? Uh, I'm going to do whatever I can do for Shane to help him. As it is right now, I've been working with him the most, but his dad is his head trainer. Uh, I fully understand that. Uh, when Jack is there, Jack is the man. And whatever Jack needs me to do to assist him to, for Shane to be successful, I'll do that. But I know here moving forward in the future, you know, um, I'm going to need a, a little more from Shane, and Shane's going to be willing to give me a little bit more. But we're going at the right pace right now. Shane's doing great. He's sparring with Sean. He's sparring with Dennis Duglin. And uh, next week, they're going to be double teaming him all week long. So he'll be ready for this fight. Now, speaking of sparring, obviously, we got our shared taste of a little bit of the sparring video with you, uh, well, excuse me, Sean and, and Mosley. But how do you see Mosley faring up versus Sean? and then taking that, crossing it over into the Mayorga fight? Because a lot of people's, uh, I guess, worries are that he's too old. They don't want him to get hurt. He's a legend. He's done enough. He doesn't have to tarnish his legacy. Uh, is Shane healthy enough that he can give 12 good rounds and, and, and be competitive, and his fans that, that adore him not have to worry? At this point in time, this kid, and I'm calling him a kid because that's what he looks like to me. He's still fast. He's got unbelievable power on his punches. The uh, impact he has on his punches is unbelievable. So, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're gradually building up to the 10 rounds, to 12 rounds, and we haven't gotten there yet. We're on our way. Uh, we want to see that next week. I, I don't see anything happening to him um, that, you know, tells me that he shouldn't be boxing. So right now, as things stand, as things go, um, he's working extremely hard. I will be the first guy to tell him. I ain't going to hesitate to tell him, Shane, I don't think you should be here. Right now, Shane needs to be doing what he's doing and needs to continue in the, in the direction he's going. And I see bigger and better fights for him after this one. Now, is Sean in there taking advantage of the old man, or is the old man showing Sean, the young guy, a couple of lessons in this sparring? Well, Sean is taking advantage, but he's taking advantage from a different standpoint. Sean is, is being told to fight like Mayorga. So you'll see punches coming from both sides, and, you know, a lot of uh, pressure, but not the way Sean would normally do it, not boxing to set it up or jabbing to set it up or feigning to set it up. He's just, you know, really, really swinging from both sides. And so he's taking advantage of the fact that Shane's got to adjust to that, but that's what we want Shane to have to deal with. We want him to have to deal with the whirlwind punches and things coming from angles that he can't see. Um, they've had some good sessions. They've had some good sessions. Shane has caught Sean with some things, and Sean has definitely caught Shane. And uh, it's going good right now, so I want to keep it going that way. And also, I've been using Dennis. And Dennis is about 185 pounds, and Shane's standing up to him very well as well. Now, uh, how do you as a trainer allow, uh, I mean, how does Sean gain something from this? If you're, you're having him, uh, I guess, impersonate Mayorga and Dennis Duglin, the mama's boy, impersonate Mayorga, how do they take something away from that other than just cardio? Well, I'm going to tell you what, first of all, for Dennis, what he's getting, he's had, to, he's had to learn how to fight orthodox. So he's been working orthodox now over two weeks, and that's totally new to him. He's had to learn how to do that. So that's something new for him, and he said he always wanted to try it anyway. Uh, for Sean, what well, Sean is gaining, a lot of the infighting that Shane is doing, a lot of the clutching, twisting, and turning of the arms and elbows and, you know, movements of the shoulder that only a veteran fighter can do to you, that's what Shane's doing to Sean, and Sean's got to adjust to that type of stuff. So he's learning a lot there because... Let's face it, a lot of guys want to hold Sean because he's throwing a lot of punches. And they figure that that's the best way to slow him down, from throwing punches by holding him.